Hello comments and thank you for joining us for UTE TV News. I'm Natalie Peña Morris and here's what's been happening at the University of Texas at Dallas. At the top, recent polls have shown the library is frequently used for study space, especially during exam week. But the question has been raised, are the hours of operation long enough? Estefania Villarreal has a story. We have all visited the library at some point in our college experience, but for many students, undergrad and graduate students alike, the library has become their primary study space. Student government made an extensive research on library usage, including a student survey on when students use the library the most. We were able to speak to student vice president Nancy Fairbank on the phone from Sherman, Texas to talk about the benefits of a 24-hour library and the process of completing this. I think that there are a lot of benefits to expanding the library hours. First of all, the library is an excellent place for students to study. It's got one of the best Wi-Fi signals on campus, and it's just a very comfortable environment. I strongly support the idea that we should have a 24-hour library because I assume every university should because last night I came here to study, but uh, it turns out that the library is already closed, so I have to go to the JSON to uh, further my study. So, um, I think if we have a 24 hours library, it will more, add more convenience to students. Well, I, I support it. I, I, of course, use it. And especially, I, I think maybe uh, exam, when is it, uh, there is an exam. I think if it will extend the hours, I will spend maybe more of the night time here. Uh, during the day, I may, have, I may take courses and I may uh, attend some uh, activities. And uh, maybe it's for me, uh, late at night, I will more concentrate to my homework, and uh, yeah. For UTD TV News, I'm Stephanie Villarreal. Thank you, Stefania. On September 17th, student media reporter Anwesha Bharacharji attended the State of the University Address. Speakers included Professor Murray, Staff Council President Estelle, Student Government President Newton, and University President Dr. Daniel. During the address, Nelson confirmed the extension of the library hours, but after speaking to library officials, we learned that the starting date and exact hours have not yet been decided. Also, President Daniel had this to say about the state of our school. Degree production is growing even faster than enrollment, which means that we're getting better and better and better at assuring student success. For an in-depth report of the State of the University Address, pick up the September 22nd edition of the Mercury newspaper, located at newsstands around campus. And here's a story that has the whole campus talking, the new and improved dining hall, and of course, the other restaurants that are popping up on campus and even in our parking garages. UTD TV's Estefania Villarreal spoke with students about why they're excited about the university's food expansion. UTD has recently increased its dining options. Now you can find your favorite foods all over campus. Students are looking forward to try the new dining hall this fall and a few other restaurant options on campus. The new additions include Papa John's Pizza, Einstein Brothers Bagels, Jason's Deli, and Panda Express. There will also be a few changes to the menus in the dining halls and the pub, and an extension to the already established Chick-fil-A. I think it's cool. I mean, it gets really crowded around here in the normal dining hall and everything, so it would be nice to have uh, more space, especially by the dorms. Now the food you like will be even more accessible throughout the campus. Since I'm a vegetarian, uh, there would, it would be great if there were more uh, outlets that offer vegetarian food and uh, basically something that cater to uh, people who love potatoes. <laughs> so I'm a lover of potatoes among vegetables and basically salads also. I mean, uh, Jason's Deli is can be healthier for me to eat uh, than uh, Chick-fil-A. So. Uh, and it'd be cool to order pizza from Papa John's and all that oh, right by the dorms. So be expecting all of these changes throughout the fall and the spring of 2015. For UTD TV News, I'm Stephanie Villarreal. Thank you, Stefania. I haven't been there yet, but hopefully I will soon. This was all for today. I'm Natalie Peña-Marins, and have a great weekend.